Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, we got yet another package from Amazon.com in the mail, and uh, what we're going to show you here is the Riseek Gun Snake Bore Cleaner. Uh, we're just going to do a quick unboxing, go over the features, and let you know uh, whether or not this is a product that you think I recommend. Now, am I an authority on cleaning guns? No, but hear me out. I have a ton of cleaning videos on YouTube. I'm a bit fanatical about cleaning firearms. You know, everybody kind of has their own little method and, and different uh, cleaning chemicals they, they like to use when they clean their firearms. And uh, Riceek reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to test out one of their bore cleaners. So we will actually be testing it today with my Car CT9, my daily carry pistol. Now what we have here, guys, is the 357 9 millimeter 38 Special uh, bore cleaner, okay, and there's a few deluxe features that you get with this that you're not going to find in other bore snakes that you just buy right off the shelf. I do have a few other basic bore snakes we'll compare this to and show you whether or not this is a product that you should consider buying. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the features. Okay, so first of all, we have a, a little T handle here that you're able to use to pull the bore snake through the barrel when you're using it. I like that. Instead of getting your hands all gross and saturated with the cleaner and you're trying to wind the, the string around your fingers and stuff, you get to use the T-handle, which is kind of nice. Okay, and this is also your cable that I believe you're going to use to hook up your T-handle to the bore cleaner. Okay, cool. All right, moving on. This is your nylon cord for the, uh, the bore snake itself, and it is marked uh, 9 millimeter. Oh, interesting, they got a 22 cal sticker on there. I think it was an accident, but it is a 9 millimeter. It is for a 357 Magnum and other compatible calibers. Now, what I really like about this versus other bore snakes, what really caught my attention is the fact that you get a much more full-size bore brush with it. I love the other bore um, snakes that are out there in the market, but sometimes it seems like the bristles are just really compact. Plus, you really can't swap out those bristles if you happen to wear them down. I mean, believe it or not, these do wear down as you start to run them through your barrels. And if you have several firearms that you shoot on a regular basis, that could be an issue that you run into. Now, we also have the uh, attachment here on the end where you could use to hook up the wire and pull the cable through if you want to. And we will check this out here in just a little bit. So again, nice, uh, you got your soft copper or brass bore brush going on. And then you've got a real thick braided nylon cable that's gonna swab out the barrel and clean it. Okay, then you also have the loop on the end in case you need to grab and go the other way or pull one direction or the other, which is also very good to have. Now, what I really like about it is for $9.99, you do get a lot for the money in my opinion. You get a few extra features that you just don't get on other bore cleaners. Um, you get a nice case to put it in, keep it stowed away so you, have, you don't have a bunch of parts just kind of floating around all over the place. And uh, let's come back and just compare this to a few other the, uh, the bore cleaners that you might run into on the market. Okay, so just kind of as a comparison here, this is the Riseek model, and I've got that handle on the front with the cable, which I really do like. Once you feed it through, you can attach the handle on the end and then pull, and you pull your brush through, and then the nylon cord behind it. Um, something I like to do is you might want to just run this through without the brush a couple times, put a little bit of cleaner on here, and then run it through with the brush, and then run it through again with or without the brush. It's pretty much up to you how you want to do it. I do like that kind of flexibility. Now, compared to my other boar snakes, which have had a lot of use, again, this is just a Hoppies, uh, 380, 9mm, 38, 357. And very similar in design to the Riseek, but the problem is, is you just have this, this, these built-in bristles, which is nice, but after a while, these really start to get worn out. And this sucker's seen a lot of use in a lot of different calibers. And more or less, when these wear down, there isn't really anything you could do to replace it. Uh, you do have the weight, which is nice also, but most of those are going to have that same kind of a setup. Uh, this is just another brand. This also might be a hot piece. I can't remember. It might be a different line in the series, but again, very similar construction. You just have the little string that you have to tug on and pull, and you've got your bore brush also. Now, this is for a 22 caliber, your 223 rifles and things along that line, 22 mag, etc. Yeah, so the bristles on this are much smaller, but again, they do get worn out as time goes on. Um, what I like about the Riseek is that I paid 10 bucks for each of those, okay? And they don't really have any extra features with them. They're just a simple boar snake. When they're not on sale, they were around 13 or $14 at Walmart. And so the Rice Seek is giving you a lot of cool options. Uh, the fact that you can just take it apart and just use the swab if you want to. Say you don't have a barrel that's very dirty, you just want to run through and just polish up the barrel. Okay, you can just run the weight through and pull on it if you want to. You've also got the brush you can run through it. Uh, you can take off the handle and push it through and then attach the handle on the end and pull it through. So, I mean, there, it doesn't seem like it's a real big deal, but there's things that I really like, and having that extra little bit of uh, bore brush surface area, okay, is definitely going to make a big difference when it comes time to get those bores cleaned out. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and just run it through the Car CT9 barrel just to see what it looks like in action, see how convenient it is. The barrel's not dirty at all. 
and I don't, unfortunately don't have any dirty guns I can clean with a 9mm at this point. Um, but we'll just see if it works and just kind of see what the overall experience is like, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so if you've ever used one of these before, it's a very simple procedure. By the way, you might say, well what's the advantage of this versus a cleaning rod? Time maybe, just set up the fact that you can just run a couple passes through the barrel and it's going to be clean. You don't have to run patches and run different solvents and different cleaners. You can pretty much run a nice all-in-one cleaner, like in this case I'm going to use some CLP. Uh, go ahead and shoot some down the barrel and just let that kind of marinate for a few seconds. Okay. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and run the, uh, the bore snake through the bore and we'll go ahead and attach the, the handle here at the end. But again, what I said, like, like I've said before, I really like that large um, brush because it, it's going to definitely scrub one or two passes and you're going to be good to go. So we'll just go ahead and just grab and pull. Okay, then you're going to hit the nylon and that's going to swab out the barrel. Run that through two times and you're basically good to go. Now if you wanted to, you could take off the bristle brush like I said before and just run just the rope through it or you can put a little dab of CLP on it after you bristle it out a couple times, whatever you want to do. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but the bore looks nice and clean. Now, I did have a little bit of lint in it before because it has been daily carried for quite a while. And you can start to get a little buildup of stuff in there, but it does come out nice and clean. So, uh, you know, the fact is for, for $9.99, you can get yourself a decent little setup. I really like that. Uh, guys, do make sure you check out uh, Rice Seek's products. They do sell a whole line of cleaning supplies. They've got a really cool cleaning mat that, that's out there. Uh, I believe they also make a sling, a leather sling that's out there too. So do check them out on Amazon, and I'll put a link for this product in the comment section of this uh, video. And uh, if you want to check this out, you definitely can. So again, you can just leave this attached if you want to, or you can take off the bore, attach the handle, just, pour the, just pull the line through if you want to. Kind of depends on how dirty the, uh, the bristle brush is that you're, or I'm sorry, how dirty the bore is that you're using. So... That's it guys, that's all it takes. Very, very simple, straight to the point. Um, I'm gonna continue using the other boar snakes, but I'm gonna primarily use this one for nine millimeter and 357 Magnum. Uh, I do like the design, it seems to be very durable, very well built. Should uh, definitely take run through quite a few different cleanings before it wears out. And uh, guys, that is it. So I wanna thank you for watching today. Uh, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe and you can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on gunchannels.com with a podcast called Caliber Corner. Make sure you check it out. It is Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. You can find it uh, over on gunchannels.com. I'm also on GunStreamer and YouTube. Uh, the channel name is just TravisP11. You can find me over there. But guys, that's about it. So a lot more videos coming your way. Uh, we're going to have a lot more range tests for you this summer, a lot more cleaning videos, a lot more tabletop reviews, a ton of videos in the catalog. Make sure you check it out. Please like or subscribe. So guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Thanks for watching us. Keep those guns clean. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.